What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. This video goes out to all the old heads like me. Yeah, I'm calling you old. I mean, I know we're technically we're not old, but to everybody else that's like 17 and 18, we're old as shit. Double Dragon, a uh, old classic that I've really enjoyed initially on the NES, uh, which was uh, a port of an arcade game that was horribly done for the Nintendo, but for the time it was technologically sound, it was new technology, it looked great, and everybody played it, and we beat up these guys, and you could play couch co-op with your brother or sister or your cousin, and it was just a blast. And over the years, there's been a few Double Dragon sequels that have come out. Even a few years ago, they had a new Double Dragon game, which was kind of a reboot, but they had redone it graphically and made it look all sparkly and new, but for some reason that didn't resonate with me. Now, apparently, there is a new Double Dragon game coming out, and it's coming to PlayStation 4 and PCs, and it's coming out this month. I'll drop a link in the description. Yes, there is a new Double Dragon game coming to PS4 and PC this month. It's 30 years since the original beat-em-ups Double Dragon first arrived in arcades, and this month, a brand new edition will arrive on PlayStation 4 and PC. Double Dragon 4 made by many of the original development team will be released on January 30th and will reprise the trademark 8-bit graphics of the series. The original's director Yoshiashi Koshimido, the original designer Koji Ogata, the original composer Kozunaka Yamane, and programmer Kei Oyama are all on board for the reprisal, which also features the original theme and side-scrolling button-smashing gameplay. The release will mark the first entry into the series since 1990's Double Dragon 3, The Rosetta Stone, and will further test our longing for retro gameplay experiences. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. The Resurrection is the work of Arc System Works, which purchased the rights to the franchise from Technos Japan, which went out of business in 1996. Double Dragon was also one of the first video games to inspire a movie adaptation, but the 1994 live-action title was a flop, losing more than $5 million. It followed the equally dire Super Mario Brothers. Things would get slightly better the following year with the release of Mortal Kombat, but only slightly. It could be said those four titles have set the tone for video game adaptations all the way up to the just released Assassin's Creed, which currently has a rating of 20% on RottenTomatoes.com. So this article went, <laughs> it went in on video game to movie adaptations, and I hear that Assassin's Creed is trash. But this is really good news, man. They have the original team working on this. Uh, it's going to be 8-bit style, so it's going to have that, you know, that retro feel that made the original arcade game amazing. I'm not even going to say the NES because it's much harder to port an arcade game to the NES. Can you imagine trying to do something like that? Now, with 8-bit graphics, they can probably have true-to-life arcade-style gameplay in Double Dragon 4. And believe it or not, I'm looking forward to trying this out. I like the original game, I'm an older guy, I love like Scott Pilgrim vs. the world, if they can kind of make the game more modern the way Scott Pilgrim was, and have maybe local co-op, couch co-op, or online co-op, imagine having 4 player co-op, it'd be really amazing. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below, are you old enough to remember Double Dragon and Chin and all these characters in that game that just pissed me off when I was a kid? Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did give a thumbs up and show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,